You want to see a meltdown? Look at this chief whiner, uh, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina. Just, oh my God, you know, the left, they were targeting Judge Childs. Okay, another black woman from South Carolina who's being considered. He hasn't gotten over it. Check out this wimp. What is your judicial philosophy? So I have a methodology that I use in my cases in order to ensure that I am uh, ruling impartially and that- So your judicial philosophy is to rule impartially? No, my judicial philosophy is to rule impartially and to rule consistent with the limitations on my authority as a judge. And so my methodology actually helps me to do that in every case. So you wouldn't say that you're an activist judge? I would not say that. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll have a 20 minutes more later on, but here's what I would say. That every group that wants to pack the court, that believes this court is a bunch of right-wing nuts that are going to destroy America, that consider the Constitution trash, all wanted you picked. And this is all I can say is the fact that so many of these left-wing radical groups that would destroy the law as we know it declared war on Michelle Childs and supported you is problematic for me. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Graham. Let me mention uh, a few points here. Uh, Congressman Jim Clyburn was a strong supporter of Michelle Childs, and now I believe he is publicly supporting your nomination. And Michelle Childs has been nominated by President Biden uh, to be a circuit judge, and she will be considered by this committee as quickly as possible. On the issue of Guantanamo, there are currently 39 Guantanamo detainees remaining. The annual budget for Guantanamo is $540 million per year, which means each of these detainees uh, is being held at the expense of 12 or $13 million per year. If they would be incarcerated at Florence, Colorado, the Supermax prison, federal prison, the amount would be dramatically, dramatically less. Since 9-11, nearly 1,000 convicted in the United States on terrorism charges. Since 2009, with the beginning of the Obama administration, the recidivism rate of Guantanamo detainees released is 5%. So Mr. Chairman, according to the Department, uh, Director of National Intelligence, is 31%. Somebody is wrong here. If you're going to talk about what I said, I'm going to respond to what you said. If we close Gitmo and move them to Colorado, do you support indefinite detention under the law of war for these detainees? I would just say uh, I'm giving the facts. And I the want answer to make, is no. I want to make sure that it's clear. The 31% you referred to goes back to the year 2009. 2000. What does it matter when it goes back to we had them and they got loose and they started killing people? Well, I could just say that... Uh, if you're one of the people killed in 2005, does it matter to you when we release them? suggest that a president of your own party released them in... I'm suggesting the system has failed miserably and advocates to change this system like she was, in, was, was advocating would destroy our ability to protect this country. We're at war. We're not fighting a crime. This is not some passage of time event. As long as they're dangerous, I hope they all die in jail if they're going to go back and kill Americans. It won't bother me one bit if 39 of them die in prison. That's a better outcome than letting them go. And if it costs $500 million to keep them in jail, keep them in jail because they're going to go back to the fight. Look at the friggin' Afghan government. It's made up of former detainees at Gitmo. This whole thing by the left about this war ain't working. Let me also note that Larry Thompson, who served as Deputy Attorney General under President George W. Bush, Orrin Kerr, Special Counsel, Viet Den, who served as Assistant Attorney General for Legal Policy in the George W. Bush Administration, John Bellinger, and former D.C. Circuit Judge, Solicitor General, and Independent Counsel Ken Starr, were also prominent conservative lawyers signing a letter defending attorneys who represented Guantanamo Bay detainees. Uh, I don't believe that we should associate uh, that activity as being inconsistent with our constitutional values. Mm, that's called shut the hell up. Oh, that's not my unfiltered video in just one moment.
time to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a Black man. <laughs> Owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Like, wow. Roland was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?